Hi guys, welcome to the second part of my uh, two-part uh, video on uh, my uh, horror, horror anthology collection. So we'll go straight in with uh, the first one. This is a double one. It's uh, All Hallows Eve and Mischief Night. Both fantastic movies. Um, I had the All Hallows Eve uh, on DVD, but I wanted to upgrade to this uh, Blu-ray release, which I, I treated myself to, you know, for Christmas. Um, so yeah, that's uh, All Hallows Eve and Mischief Night. Next one up, this is just a new one what I've got this week actually. I haven't actually watched it yet. It's called Tales, Tales of Poe. And it's basically, a, it's kind of a modern rendition on the Tales of Edgar Allan Poe, um, you know, given a modern slant. Now, I first got to know about this movie through watching it on Roku, one of the Roku channels. I think one, of, I think it was called Horror, uh, Horror Cult Network or Trashy Horror, one of them anyway. And I'll just get, it does three stories all, all together. And I was just getting through halfway, the, halfway through the second story and the Bloomin' Channel went off, didn't it? But so I thought, I couldn't get it back on, so I thought to myself, I've got to get that movie from my collection to watch the rest of it. Uh, you know, for what I sit, saw of it, like, you know, from, you know, it was very good, very good story. So, yeah, that is Tales of Poe. Next one, one of my British favourites, Tales of Witness Madness. Um, not quite, not just, not quite up in, 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 not quite up to the quality of the Amicus horror portmanteau movies but still a very very good watch you know it really is good um, I'll just read you the back of it stroll down the corridors of a mental asylum where your mind won't believe what your eyes see in the tradition of tales from the crypt and creep show this anthology of pulp horror tales helmed by the ever reliable horror master Freddie Francis the film features a quartet of eerie vignettes involving four patients in the care of a psychiatrist Ronald Pleasance who is attempting to justify his strange theories to colleague Jack Hawkins. The all-star cast includes Kim Novak, Susie Kendall, Joan Collins, Peter McInay. So there you go. Um, I particularly love the story with Susie Kendall and Uncle Albus, where uh, you know her husband buys these uh, antiquated, antiquated um, items from you know from a shop, a penny farthing, and a portrait of this guy from the Victorian era called Uncle Albus. And you know, we, I won't give away too much of the story, but it's that's my favourite one. You know, but th this is a good little uh, you know horror anthology, Tales That Witness Madness. And as I say, although it's not quite in, quite in the league of the Amicus. You know, the Amicus Masterpiece is still a blooming good watch. So that's Tales That Witness Madness. Next one. Oh, another one of my favourite Amicus movies. The Vault of Horror. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah. Five strangers board a descending lift one by one in a modern office block in London. They reach the sub-basements, though none of them are pressed, are pressed for that destination. There they find a large, elaborately furnished room, which appears to be a gentleman's club. The lift door has closed and there are no buttons. There are no buttons to bring it back, nor any other exit. Resigned to waiting for help, they settle down with drinks and talk. The conversation turns to dreams and each man tells a recurring nightmare. So that's the frame and story of Vault of Horror. Uh, this is actually, uh, again, stories from the old DC horror comics of 1950s. The stories here are Midnight Mess, The Neat Job, This Trick Will Kill You, Bargain in Death and Drawn and Quartered. So, yeah, one of Amica's best horror portmanteau movies. That's Vault of Horror. Next one. Another fantastic Amicus movie. Dr. Terror's House of Horrors, starring Peter Cushion in the frame and story, um, who is Dr. Terror. Um, who is, he's a mysterious fortune teller who boards a train and offers to tell fellow passengers Christopher Lee, Roy Castle, Donald Sutherland, their fortune with tarot cards. Five possible futures unfold. An architect returns to his, his ancestral home to find a werewolf out for revenge. A huge flesh-eating vine takes over a house. A musician gets involved with voodoo. That's the one with Roy Castle in, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, an art critic is pursued by a disembodied hand. That would be the Christopher Lee one. And a doctor discovers his new wife as a vampire. But they all end in the same results. Death. A fascinating and fast-paced example of portmanteau filmmaking with a deadly twist in the tail. Yeah, it all takes place, the frame and story all takes place on a train. You know, it, it, it's just a fantastically awesome movie. Yeah, Dr. Terra's House of Horrors, Milton Sabosky. Yeah, extras, 60-minute feature by Nucleus Films, original theatrical trailer made in the mid-60s, Dr. Terra's House of Horrors. Next one up, another fantastic one. Uh, from Beyond the Grave, 
Starling again, uh, the fantastic piece of cushion in the role of a you know a shopkeeper, uh, you know who's a uh, he sort of like has all these uh, items in his shop. Uh, everybody that try, uh, buys one of the items or does something dishonest, they get paid back in the most horrific ways possible. I absolutely love this movie. I mean, I used to watch it as a kid when it used to be aired on 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 the uh, telly. Usually, always seems to be on a Friday, Saturday night late from Beyond the Grave. I love the opening as well. Next one. Another great one, Torture Garden. Raymond's story involves Burgess Meredith as a sinister uh, what, carnival carnival performer, um, and the stories are all good. This is a great release from Indicator. All special features, including Ramsey Campbell and Robert Block. The horror fiction author explores the importance of the prolific Block, Fiona Sobotsky and Milton Sobotsky. High Definition Remaster, The Guardian Interview with Freddie Francis, and loads more. Yeah. That's another great horror horror anthology from the 60s, Torture Garden. And last but by no means least is Trick or Treat. Now, I know this film has a lot of love from it, you know, from horror fans. Uh, it was made in America, and it's all got, it, the stories have got like a Halloween, obviously a Halloween-related theme. Um, and I'll just read the special features on this one. New tales of folklore and fright, including interviews with writer Michael Do Doherty, Conceptual artist Brehan Burns and storyboard artist Simeon Wilkes. New, new um, audio commentary by Michael Doherty. Additional scenes, trick or treat seasons greetings. Animated short by Michael Doherty with optional commentary. How, how did many of our scary season traditions start? School bus FX comparisons. Extensive still galleys and theatrical trailer. Yeah. So it's a creepy, darkly comic celebration of the scariest night of the year from writer-director Michael Doherty. Yeah, Fall Into Woven Tales set on Halloween night. This, yeah, this is a brilliant uh, American horror horror anthology, you know, I'll say with a Halloween theme. And I love this edition by Screen, Screen Factory. There's the alternative artwork. I hope they do a sequel to this. I believe there was talk at one, at one, one point that they might do a sequel of it, but I'm still waiting. So yeah, so that's the last one, uh, Trick or Treat. Okay, guys. I hope you I hope you enjoyed this two part video of uh, my collection of uh, you know horror horror anthology movies. As I said, absolutely love love horror anthology movies, but I always put I always rate the Amicus ones as the best because all the stories were fantastic, especially the Tales from the Crypt. That's my number one favourite Amicus horror. Well, I think it's my favourite uh, horror anthology movie of all time. It made in nineteen seventy two. Um, yeah, Ralph Richardson is the Crypt Keeper and. The story that sticks out in my mind in that one is, I mean, all the stories are good, but the one involving Peter Cushion, uh, you know, it's very, very sad and that, you know, but God, what a horrific ending. Yeah, very good. Okay, so uh, I'm always on the lookout for new, you know, horror, uh, horror anthology movies. So if you've got any good recommendations, please drop me a line, leave a comment, you know, leave a message below. And um, yeah, I'm always scouring the internet, the shop for like, new horror anthology movies. Absolutely love them. I grew up with those movies along along with the Universal and the Hammer movies. So uh, yeah, and if it's got a good frame and story, all all you know, all the better, you know. So okay, guys, as I say, that's 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 the last uh, the last uh, video for now with me horror anthology collection. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, stay safe.